So let's see what happens when me, Natalie and Lindsay and uh, Jerry Anderson went along to Café Vaudeville for the Belfast heat of Miss Northern Ireland. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and welcome to the Junction 1 Sunday World Miss Northern Ireland competition. So if you please, very good, give a very warm welcome to the one and only Mr. Robin Elliott. Thank you girls. My glamorous assistants. Good evening, Belfast! To drive, tell the wind not to blow, cause you said so. Please put your hands together. Don't touch it! It's been stuck up all afternoon, you'll, you'll muck it up. Would you also put your hands together for this year's Miss Northern Ireland, it's also Miss UK as well. Give it up for Lucy Evangelista! Come on! Come on, Lucy! Come on, join us. So, Guys, I know you want to say a few words to people in Belfast tonight, don't you, Mark? Uh, not really. Uh, hello, everyone. Not really to the ladies, but you're all looking lovely. To all the fellas down there. Come, Lucy, you're a real person. To all the fellas. Look, I've got my arm around. <laughs> tonight? Just thought if everyone else has a chance to do it, why shouldn't I? And what would you do if you got through to the final? I would be surprised. <laughs> Can't have that attitude now, come on. Well, I would probably celebrate with a few friends and get a bit drunk. <laughs> and what about you? Why did you enter this evening? Uh, just really for a laugh, really, and just for the opportunity, you know. Good. And tell us a wee bit about what you're wearing tonight. What did you choose your outfit? I uh, chose this dress because it's what I wore on my 18th birthday. So everybody was a bit surprised when I wore it then, so I just decided to wear it now. And what about nerves? Tell us about what were you like then whenever you had to go down in front of the judges? Uh, just walking down the stairs was the worst, I think, for everybody, just in case you fell flat in your face. <laughs> they had a good look at you, you know, the posture, teeth, waist, everything had a good look at you, so everyone, we're all getting for a good chance anyway. And um, what do you think of the prizes tonight, girls? What would you do if you won? Uh, take a spin in the car would be my first choice. Uh, Prizes, prizes are very good, very surprised. Have any of you thought about modelling before? Is it something you'd like to go into? I, I, did a, I did modelling for a charity thing before, but it was just more or less for fun. It wasn't anything serious. And would you think about going into modelling if you, if you got through the competition? Yeah, definitely. Hello, how are you? I'm great. And are you doing well? I'm doing very well. Excellent. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I'm actually doing the interview here, and it should be the other way around, really, shouldn't it? Was it nerve-wracking for you walking down there in front of the judges? Yep. I didn't even know I was standing in front of the judges when I got down to the bottom until I started walking up and I saw Lucy. So, yeah. 
Well, it's very nerve-wracking. So what are you doing here tonight? I'm here uh, as a normal punter. I'm enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the girls, and having a good time. Having some wine and stuff. What more can I say? So what do you think of the toddy tonight? Well, you see, I'm a nice, big, red-blooded male, as you can tell, and I'm not a fussy guy. And I think they all look fantastic. And I really don't envy the judges who have to judge these because I wouldn't know where to start because I'd have them all. <laughs> and do you think you have what it takes to be the next Miss Northern Ireland? Um, every girl would like to think that. I don't know. See, I don't know what they're looking for. And who knows? Who knows? Well, you must have a favourite. Go on, tell us who your favourite is. or well, Not even her name, but what she looks like. There was a girl. I don't know her name. I saw her, I saw her a couple of times. She was blonde and she had like a turquoise dress on. She was a more sort of, a more, uh, you know, she had the curves. So now me and Lindsay are joined with a past contestant from last year, Hayley McDonald. So how are you, Hayley? I'm fine, thank you. Having a great night. So tell us a bit about last year. What was contestant like? It was really good fun. Brilliant experience. A bit bitchy at times, but good. What else could you expect? Well, tell us a bit more. Tell us a bit about the experience. What happened? What all did you have to do throughout the weekend? You had to walk up and down your bikini. And of course, we had to be tanned before we could get our bikinis. So we all had to strip down naked and like stand there like John Wayne getting his spray tan, like 20 girls all butt naked together. <laughs> 20 girls all butt naked together. Right, do you want to give us a wee example of this pose that you had to take? Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. Just like the Santa Fe advert, love it. So what has been the best part of you being Miss Northern Ireland for you? Miss World. Miss World was fantastic. <laughs> It was great crack. You'll meet some great girls out there, so, yeah. What tips do you have for the girls this year taking part then? Um, just be yourself and like, don't take it too seriously and just relax and enjoy it because it's really good fun and you're already young once, so while you've got it, flaunt it because you might not always have it. Guys, phone numbers, looks, must look good, figure, must be able to work out soldiers, hair, must have height, must have height, must be wearing a dress. If they can't have a voice, or don't have a voice, must be a baby. Oh, mummy's giving out. <laughs> so now I'm joined with the lovely Elaine, who is one of the contestants tonight. So how are you, Elaine? Not too bad, keeping well. And yourself? I'm great. So what about tonight? What have you felt about the night so far? Well, I was a bit nervous when I walked in and seen how many contestants were actually taking place. But I'm enjoying myself and hopefully enjoy the rest of the night too. So how did you find the judges there when you went over to talk to them? Well, there was quite a lot of them and they didn't really get much away. So they didn't, but hopefully they've got a good look at me anyway. So why are you entering this competition? Like, what would you like to get out of it? Well, last year I, was, I had entered and I got into the final and I got a taste of it. And I'm back for a wee bit more because I really enjoyed it and hopefully I'll get a bit further because I'd really like to purchase a career in modelling so hopefully that's what I'll get out of it. Well, have you ever thought of modelling before? Is it something you've done before? I've ne no, I've never modelled before, never, that's why I'm so nervous, never been ex this experience whatsoever. 
What do you think of the competition tonight? The competition's very good. Uh, the standard's very high. I wouldn't like to be judging this evening, I must say. Well, now you are one of the main judges for the competition. Um, what, so, what sort of qualities do you look for in a girl that goes through to be Miss Northern Ireland? Well, you're looking for someone who's, well, they're obviously representing Northern Ireland when they go on to Miss World. So you're looking for someone who's intelligent, beautiful, got great deportment, someone who can really represent our country to the best standard possible. Well, now, I know you still have Miss UK title, but what are you going to do with it? I um, have to go to Japan in September for Miss International, so I'll see what happens after that. Would you like to go into modelling or is there anything else you would like to do in the entertainment field or anything? I'm going to carry on with the modelling. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. We'll see what happens. Probably go back into acting or something. Well, who knows? Having a clue. <laughs> and what do you think about the whole beauty pageant airhead sort of thing? Like world peace, all this sort of thing? No. No, no it doesn't make sense. So tell us about the contest last year. I mean, was there a lot of bitching going on? Because, you know, you hear these contests and there's loads of girls all in one room. Come on, there must be a wee bit of gossip and bitchiness. <laughs> well... Last year I had really close friends and I still go out with some of them now but um, I never heard no bitchiness and it was the best weekend I've never been on and I'd recommend it to anyone. They're all lovely looking, every one of them actually made me really nervous, more nervous coming here and the same, I went to watch one in the coach last week and they're all lovely looking there as well. It's got the butterflies at the minute. <laughs> We've been involved with Miss Northern Ireland now for 12 years. We were one of the main sponsors at the very beginning. Um, so I think it's getting stronger and stronger every year. Um, all of the girls now are just so intelligent. It's just unbelievable. The standards got so, so good. Just fantastic. So imagine if you won the crowd of Miss Northern Ireland. What would you do with it? Flip. Um, I'd be ecstatic. Flip. I don't know what to do. I'd just I give up university for a year and just give everything I could to Miss Northern Ireland because that's what I've always wanted since I've been a young girl. So what exactly are you looking for when you're choosing the final two? Someone that can carry themselves well, speaks well, looks good obviously, height, everything, just a whole package in general, so we got them. <laughs> so what tips would you give for, some, for the next Miss Northern Ireland? Go out there, be yourself, just have a laugh and just go with the flow, you'll be grand. Legend here, Jerry Anderson. Yes, of course. Thank you. That's a good word, there. Well, Jerry, you're looking a bit worse for wear tonight. Have you had a lot to drink? No, no, no. You don't seem to understand. You know, you're 25. You know, I'm 28. And you know, normally I look, you know, more tired than you do at this time of night. It's been a rough night for me. I've had a lot of alcohol, but it doesn't affect me. Jerry, now look at all these young ones running about here. Are you feeling a bit old tonight? No, I'm not feeling a bit old. I'm trying to beat them off. See, I tried to get up the stairs. Four of them came at me from the left. Then another three from the right. 
So I use this kind of, I've got a technique. You don't use your, your leg too much. You kind of use this chopping motion. Yeah. You're I'm, fighting the women off tonight, fighting the women off. I'm, I'm spoken for and I don't, don't be making any attempts at me now. I'm, I'm out of bounds, honestly. They're just, they, they just want me because I'm famous. The stunning silverback look, I think. When I say I'm famous, does that sound a little bit too much, do you think? No, not at all. Not at all. No, you want to say star, full on star. Okay. They want me because I'm a star. <laughs> Just right. They can't resist me. You, you've seen it yourself. I'm surprised you're able to resist me yourself. Would you please give it up for Lauren Cushionan? Come on, Lauren. Lauren Cushionan is tonight's Miss Cafe Bonneville. Lucy presents her with her Miss Kathy Vaudeville sash. So there we go. Lauren joins us at the Europe Hotel in Belfast on the 19th of June, the grand final. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the new Miss Belfast. It's Keevlin Hitchin! Keevlin Hitchin! Lucy will give you your Miss Belfast sash. I will give you the envelope. Congratulations to both of our contestants tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen 27 fantastic, stunning young ladies tonight. Would you please put your hands together for all of our contestants, come on. So did you expect to win? No, of course I didn't. No, I did not, but it's fantastic that we've got this far. It's really, really good. Everybody was just so normal and just like people that I would be friends with at home. And yeah, they were lovely girls, really were. I'll tell you what, those two girls are beautiful, particularly Miss Belfast. I think she's beautiful. Yes. And the other, the other girl, I, I don't know what the, the categories were, but I saw Miss Belfast come and I thought she was beautiful, really classic beauty. I did expect it to be very scary and them to be asking awkward questions, but I was talking to a fella about his nieces who went to Queen's along with me and they were really nice people. And I know Alison anyway, so yeah, it was love, nice people. So what do you look for yourself in a girl then? Um, a wallet, a purse, um, a tractor, a farm of land, and children of her own. No, Do you have anything? Uh, have any kind of money or anything? No, I have a rental Cleo and that's about it. Have you? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you'll have to do better. I basically thought it would be fun today to experience what this was like and I knew Lucy and I just thought it would be interesting to see how far I could go um, but it's great to get this far even to be able to enter into the final. He looks as if, oh there he is there, I better be very careful what I say. Well, Robin looks as if he's just come out of a washing machine. What? You look as if you've just come out of a washing machine and he hasn't and somebody's lost the hair. No, but I think it's very fashionable. Yeah, you know if you could just you know do something about the face it'll be much better. Jerry, you're in your final strands of hair there. Would you, would you go for something like that as well? I knew, I knew you'd try and get me. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, I, I must confess I'm thinning. <laughs> thinning gradually. But it's not a thing I worry about. Because it's a sign of, well, virility, if I may use that word. Can I use that word? You can, you can. I'm sorry to use that word in front of you. So, Jerry, I'm hoping as well I look as good as you when I'm 85. I, I do. <laughs> you're looking for is Robin Elliot. <laughs> what do you think of his new haircut and his, dress, his outfit tonight? Robin is good. Robin is all right. Let me, Robin, he's, he's not a bad guy. He's all right. And he's tried a new look. And he saw him with me with my new look. And he's looked and went, hmm, not bad. Now, Haley, you've seen Robin Elliot wandering around. What do you think of the red suit and his dress sense? Very Graham Norton. <laughs> I was summoning the hairdresser's getting it done earlier, it's fantastic. Good job. The last time I saw him in that suit was months ago. He was doing a gig, but I think with the hair now, it, it looked, it, it, the suit doesn't look so much out of place. It actually sort of all, it's starting to gel together now. They're matching up, they're matching Everything's up. matching. He's getting the hair, he's getting matched. Exactly. I think he really suits it, it's lovely. His red suit is just gorgeous. 
said to tan off as well. <laughs> Robin works for nothing. <laughs> That's as simple as that, you know. I, I can't put it any plainer. I mean, who chose that so anyway? What can you say about Robin Elegant? Well, the former elegant one, a new hairdo. He rushed here to present tonight. He didn't give enough time for the hair and he's lost his elegant title. Sorry, Robin. Better luck next time, mate. Really do feel, feel your pain. Looking at his painful as well. <laughs>